Hi everybody, Damien Ferry here from The Unshackled, reporting live. Uh, now we're here at a special event called The Day of the Unborn 2017. Now this is a very special event because um, this is basically, um, there's going to be a mass, then there's also going to be a walk down the street. Um, now the mass is a solemn mass, it's going to be sung, that's going to go for about an hour or so. Um, then we're going to be heading out of the cathedral and we're going to be walking down to Parliament House uh, saying the rosary. It's a very important event because this is representing all pro-lifers that are, have a very important, um, very important view when it comes to abortion, that children have the right to life. Now, these are very, very scary statistics here. 82, over 80 children alone in New South Wales die every day from abortion. That is four every hour. So within an hour, four children die. And we know from the statistics that a lot of people on the left do say, oh yeah, but what about if the woman was raped? What about if there was health, com health problems? But that is so rare. That's only a couple percentage points. Over 95% of the time, it is purely for convenience purposes. Okay, so it's very important that we put this point forward and that people start to take responsibility for their actions. They shouldn't take the easy way out and think, oh, okay, we're just using this as a form of contraception and we're gonna kill this innocent child. There's many couples out there that can't have children and also couples that go through miscarriages. I mean, what an insult. What an insult it would be to them that are going through such an experience. So if you can't, for instance, take care of a child, make sure that it is given a chance of life and make sure it goes to parents that don't have to then go overseas to then adopt because our adoption laws are crazy in this country. So that's the situation as is. I mean, we're going to be approaching a couple thousand people that are going to be stacking up the church and on the streets. It's going to be huge. And I'm telling you now, the mainstream media are not going to speak a word of it tonight. I can guarantee you. And there's going to be protesters on the other side from the UTS, uh, left-wing Labor contingent. Now, um, they're only going to have about 40 or 50 supporters. So they're going to be very small in number, very vocal and very violent. So just make sure that you guys be careful of these people. And we're going to be reporting all the live footage all around. Make sure that you're staying in tune with the Unshackled for all the live updates. All right, back here with the Unshackled. Now, I've just heard that there's about 40 to 50 protesters around the other side, and they're very violent, chanting profanities into the church. So let's go and run and have a look. Come on, check it out. It is quite unbelievable that 17 years into the 21st century, we are all living in a state that has laws that criminalize women and their doctors for abortion. Hey. Hey. Abortion, which is a medical procedure, it's an issue of reproductive health. It's a basic right for people to make decisions about their own body. Not your Yet, body. It still sits not your body. in the Crimes Act, the Women's Wealth, Section 8283 and 84 of the New South Wales Crimes Act 1900. This needs to change. Abortion law reform has been overdue for more than 100 years now. And that's exactly why I, gave, I introduced the first ever bill to decriminalise abortion and to provide safe access into clinics in New South Wales last year. The state of the state has moved to modernise its abortion laws. Just last week, the Northern Territory decriminalised abortion. They do deserve accolades. Before that, Victoria, the ACP and Tasmania have all decriminalised abortion and provided safe access zones. New South Wales and Queensland are really the last two holdouts. The legality and the lawfulness of abortion hangs so precariously on a district court ruling in 1971. And even then, it's not the women who make the decision, it's their doctors. I mean, how can we actually be all right with that in the 21st century? Because of the criminality of abortion, 
It's taboo. There's shame and stigma around it. There's so many young people who tell me that when they talk about abortion, their voices, their tones actually drop. How is that even acceptable to us in this day and age? You know, just recently, a councillor from Children by Choice in Queensland put it very well when they said, if you have found it easy to access an abortion, you are lucky, probably white, well off, and live in the city. Because the uncertainty around abortion law, the grey area, the shadow of criminality, actually means that many GPs in New South Wales don't actually perform pregnancy termination. It is privatised, it's expensive, and access is really difficult, especially for regional and rural women. I've been to all three so many times. There is just one reproductive health clinic there that serves a huge area. And the doctor actually flies in every Thursday from Melbourne to do a simple medical procedure. And even then, there is a massive gauntlet of so-called for pro-life protesters outside. And this and they even go to the lens, and they did that just recently of handing out plastic pieces to women. When I talk to people about this, most of them think that these disgusting tactics only happen in ultra-conservative areas of the USA, not in 21st century New South Wales. But this is exactly what is happening, and it's making it harder and harder for women to access the basic rights in the medical procedure. So I'm planning on debating my bill in May this year. So we need to pull up all the stumps. We know that overwhelmingly the people of New South Wales support a woman's right to choose and they want people to do it with absolutely no legal ambiguity. They want women to make decisions about their health and about their bodies. Not the church, not the state. But for us to be able to have success in passing the bill, we will probably have to convince each MP one by one. Thank you all for being here today, and we will need your support over the next few months to make sure that New South Wales Parliament confronts an issue they have been avoiding for more than 100 years, and that we do have success. Because it's time. The time is now. No more excuses. And with the courage of your convictions, we can actually make this happen. Thank you so much for being out here today. Women have a right to choose what happens to their own body. And let's just shout that, because that is the key point here. Women have a right to choose what happens to their own body. It is absolutely wrong for any parliament to sit and make a decision about restricting a woman's rights. Whether it be because they're telling women they can't run for parliament, whether it be because they tell women they can't vote, or whether it be because they tell women they can't make the difficult choice to have an abortion. Let women's rights prevail. Let us all get together and support the current legislation in the Parliament, Marine's bill to legalise abortion, Penny Sharp, my Labor colleague's bill for safe access zones around clinics all across New South Wales. Let's come together, all of us, and support this very, very important law reform in our state parliaments to empower women to sure, ensure in New South Wales that women's rights are restored. Thank you all for being here today. It's a fantastic turnout, and I look forward to fighting with you all until women have true equality in pay, in healthcare rights, and in their ability to make choices in New South Wales. Thank you very much.
We know that we stand for Christ. We know that we stand on the side of the church. We don't need to provoke them. They've already provoked enough. We need to stand firm with what we believe. We need to stand firm with who we are as children and brothers, sisters, sons, daughters of Christ God Almighty. If anything, what we should be doing is praying for them. And I think that together we should. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord of all the Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and now of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy sanctity. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and now of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for sinners, now the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, our Lord is with thee. Let's go, boys, turn around. They're going to go that way. Let's go, people, let's go. Move back. Okay, everyone, uh, just to recap what just happened. Um, now, we um, heard that there was a lot of uh, violent activity going on on the other side of the, of the side of the church, and uh, we went over to have a look at that. Now, they were yelling profanities, they were saying, Ro no rosaries on my ovaries, uh, all of the usual sort of pro-abortion chants that you, you do see. Uh, now, we made sure we went there and counted it. Um, I had my cross ready. I was on top of the steps with a lot of the other um, boys and girls, um, the pro-life movement, and we were yelling Deus Volt back to them. And uh, that got them very angry and very violent, and they actually attacked somebody, and um, they actually fell over onto the steps. So um, these people are very violent, and you just have to be careful because um, we're just gonna make, make sure that we keep an eye on them as we do go on the street now, and do proceed to Parliament here. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst the women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. Just keep behind our lady and I'll be here. Let's give her the honor. Beautiful every week. Shall from age to 
and imagine this situation. You're a young woman, you're pregnant, you're alone and scared, with no one to support you, to keep your baby. Now imagine if the father of that baby was pressuring you, maybe even threatening you to have an abortion. Imagine you had no one you felt you could confide in, no one to listen to your fears, and no one to offer any help for your child. This awful situation is a brutal reality for too many women in, right here in Australia. The abortion industry talks about choice, but the terrible truth is that too often women who have abortion have abortions because they feel like they have no choice. No choice but death for their child. This young couple, here in Australia to study, found themselves pregnant and alone and needing help. They met us and now they have help. They've seen Dr. Simon McCaffrey, who many of you know, who's helping them as well, and their lives are very different. And Diamond's been able to bring one of her friends to us also who needs help, instead of thinking about abortion. We're very proud of this young couple who made a very brave decision. They chose life. Your powerful presence at those places saves lives, changes hearts, saves souls, more importantly than anything else. During this last 40 days for campaign, we, there is still, by the way, 14 days to go. Please don't forget, there'll be flyers, if you haven't already got one, handed to you when we get back. I don't know if they handed them out when you left the church. There are people who live in the Surrey Hills area who were very abusive to us, very aggressive sometimes. They are now shaking hands and best friends. Pre the powerful presence is a powerful witness to many people. We need active pro-lifers. We need the Catholic flag, flag, the Christian flag, raised in the public domain. We need to assert our right to be in the public place. These people here, you can hear in the background, two members of the Upper House of New South Wales are with them. They want to put bubble zones around abortion clinics of 150 metres. 150 metres. Those, those same people say we don't need to be there. We can protest at Parliament House. Guess what? They don't like us protesting here either. They wanted to stop that. The police didn't tell them we were coming around the back. They had them quarantined at the front. They've obviously broken out. If there were tens of thousands here, tens of thousands, instead of several thousand, and fantastic that you're here, next year, bring all your family and friends. We should have tens of thousands. We need to be out in the public domain and we need to say enough of this terrible plague on our society that's cost us four and a half million unborn Australians at least. Amen. 